Welcome back my YouTube friends and family. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. In today's video, the first few I have are things from the comments that I've been reading that I think people are looking for. I think are in line with things people have said they're looking for. We have some data entry. I have a unique like keyboard transcription and not keyboard like computer keyboard like musically transcription fun job thrown in here and we have a job that is paying on the low end like 76 74 something like that thousand dollars a year up to a hundred and three thousand dollars a year literally to do quality review reviewing like phone calls and emails that the customer service team has done we're gonna dive all into it i'm so excited and not only for today's video and to share these with you but the fact that we've made it halfway through the week it is a hump day and we have a holiday weekend coming up. Let me know down in the comments if you have anything special planned for the weekend. Are you spending time with friends and family, having cookouts? How are you going to celebrate the Memorial Day holiday? I am going to get to see some friends and family that I haven't got to spend a lot of time with in a while, so I am getting excited for that. But of course, as always, links, timestamps, any additional information you need to read reviews on these companies or get those applications in are always linked in the YouTube description box below this video. I do just ask that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy anything that I share. That does give me that direct feedback. But first up, we have MultiCare Health System. Them. They have 1,200 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.5 out of 5 stars. They are looking for an insurance verification auth specialist. Now this is remote for the United States only. All of these jobs that I'm sharing are going to be for the United States. My expertise is in the United States job market. This comes from a comment I seen on another video a few days ago. I had posted an authorization job and someone said it would be perfect for them. But when they, by the time they saw the video and went to put their application in, the job was no longer accepting applications. So here's another auth related type job for you. It is full time Monday through Friday schedule. But they're looking for somebody to basically identify the financial resources needed for complex high dollar claims, inpatient and outpatient claims for their surgeries and procedures, making sure that they can get paid by the insurance. So you're going to verify the patient's insurance information, their eligibility and their benefits, seeing if their insurance has coverage for certain procedures and surgeries. And if they do have coverage, what is needed by the insurance company to make sure that after the patient has this service performed, that the insurance will pay. So does it require prior authorization where you basically have to submit medical records and medical information to the insurance company on behalf of the patient from the doctor, letting the insurance company know why the patient needs this procedure done. And the insurance company has to pre-agree to it before you can have the service done. If the insurance company requires any referrals or anything before the patient is seen, you'll make sure you just get all that paperwork submitted to the insurance company. Now you might have to pick up the phone and call the insurance company from time to time to find out what information they need. But most of this in today's world, especially in 2024, is done online through online provider portals for the insurance company. Now, as far as what they're looking for, they have a lot of ORs listed. If you notice the word OR, 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 so you don't have to meet all these qualifications. You need to meet one of them. So either two years of pre-authorization experience or two years experience processing claims or two years experience in like any insurance billing, admitting or registration, like upfront if you took in registration or if you have a degree graduate in some kind of health vocational program like medical assisting or medical billing or one year experience in healthcare, they're looking for somebody who's two years experience in like customer service, somebody who knows and understands a medical terminology and somebody who has one year after high school business or college work is preferred. It is not required though. Pay for this position is all the way down at the bottom. Of course, pay is always dependent on things like location and experience, but ranges from $22.74 an hour up to $32.72 an hour. 
Another job we have stemming from the comments, at least in my mind, I think it kind of aligns with some things I've seen in the comments. I've seen people say that they are looking for data analysis, analysis or data analyst type jobs. The company Wex is hiring. Now, Wex has 964 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall rating of 3.6 out of 5 stars. Fun fact about Wex, I have been running this YouTube channel sharing jobs for I think a little over two years now, and I had someone, I think it's been at least a year ago, maybe it was only six months into my YouTube career, but I did have a viewer actually land a job with Wex. Wex is looking for an operational data and compliance analyst. Again, this is going to be remote for the United States. They are looking for somebody to basically provide technical support and data analysis to their department stakeholders, really looking at receivable risk operations. So you'll be responsible for the oversight and administration of financial terms within the NA fleet or OTR merchant acceptance and card program contracts. You'll just make sure that all of these contracts are performing as should. So you're going to be over the governance of daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly audits for these internal contracts, making sure that they are up to date and they are following all laws, regulations, guidelines, all the requirements are being met for the merchant settling processing. So you're going to maintain evidence of these metrics related to the department's control programs and you're identifying basically operational risk or receivables risk working within different departments, specifically the finance department, performing audits on all of this data, seeing where you can identify any trends and identify where process improvements or modifications to existing controls and contracts need to be made. So a lot of this job is basically just providing providing that data analysis and reporting to the department stakeholders just really looking for trends and where things can be improved. Now they are looking for somebody who's a bachelor degree or two to three years of experience in a comparable role. They say they'll take experience that says and or over the bachelor degree if you have enough experience. They do want somebody who has experience in financial auditing, somebody who's an analytical mindset so you can be a problem solver and you have to have very advanced skills using Microsoft Excel or different data bases and spreadsheets because this is a data analysis job. Now they do want somebody who has some coding skills like SQL or Python and somebody who has a great time management skills. Pay for this position though is anywhere from $63,000 a year up to $84,000 a year. Next up, we have more of like a data entry type position for you. The company is aftermarket performance. Now aftermarket performance only has four reviews on their Glassdoor page. So please, as always, do your own research on any companies before giving them your personal information. I do have the very last one that I'm sharing. I did a little bit of research on the company and I'll show you kind of the things to look for. We'll talk about kind of when you're doing your own research, the things to look for if you want to stay to the end for that. But aftermarket performance out of those four reviews though does have a 3.1 out of five star rating. They are looking for a data specialist now pay for this one is $16 an hour. It is remote for the United States. They are looking for somebody to enter or do data entry for vendor information, part information, or other information into their computer systems. Some of the things you'll be doing is entering new dealer information into the computer system. You also have to upload photos of car parts or parts for the new dealers. You'll have to identify the current parts on the website that don't have photo images and find applicable photos through the manufacturer websites or internet searches. So you'll have to be good at researching through the internet directly from the company. You'll also have to enter information for these parts and stuff into the system like pricing information, installation manuals, all of this information, updating like a year make model of different filters. So you're basically compiling, sorting, and verifying the accuracy of all this data before it's entered and then getting it entered into the system. So lots of data entry, but it is like car part related. They don't require any kind of college degree, just a high school diploma and one to three years of related work experience great communication skills, great problem solving skills. Remember, you've got to kind of be like that internet researcher. So great attention to detail and the ability to multitask. 
Next up, we have the company Dave. <laughs> now this little character icon guy they have up on their pages is just too cute. But Dave is more of like a startup company. They were founded in 2016. They are a neo bank. So they are a financial institution. They have 138 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.0 out of 5 stars. They are hiring a member success quality assurance specialist. This is going to be full time remote for the United States. But they say they are one of the leading U.S. neobanks trying to pioneer financial services using technology to provide the best in class banking services to millions of members at a fraction of the cost. They are looking for somebody to basically do quality assurance or quality control of their contact centers, so their customer service centers and their dispute intakes because they are a financial institution. You think when people dispute things like charges on their accounts, credit cards, things like that. So you are going to conduct comprehensive quality audits, basically reviewing and managing the quality assurance process for phone calls, emails, and chat interactions that's handled by their business partners. So you are reviewing these calls, reviewing these emails, reviewing these chats, making sure that they are handled in a quality manner and just handling all of the quality assurance for the customer service. So you're upholding and enforcing that quality standard operating procedures that the Dave company has, making sure they're in line with the company's standards and regulatory mandates. So you're going to work closely internally with different teams like the loss management team, risk team, the learning and development team, because of course, if you're over quality insurance, if people need to be trained or the learning guides, the training systems that Dave currently has needs to be revamped, you're going to work with the learning and development teams to basically give your feedback and help. You're just fostering a approach to quality assurance, serving as that critical link between the corporate office, the BPOs, and main maintaining clear communication, making sure all quality metrics, policies, procedures are in line with where they should be. You also have to run reports gauging the effectiveness of the programs, trying to pinpoint trends that are happening within the quality of these calls, emails, interactions, just identifying any operational challenges and proposing enhancements or process improvements. No college degree is needed for this position. They want somebody who has four years of quality shirts insurance experience in a customer service or in, they want somebody who has also like six years of customer service customer support roles remember customer service does not have to be on the phone in a contact type center customer service can be anything that you've served a customer they're looking for somebody who can be a subject matter expert on laws regulations and guidelines related to financial products like cardholder protection rules so like visa and different cardholders have certain protection rules you got to have great communication skills you've got to be comfortable and capable with making decisions in the creation of products or the evaluation criteria so you are going to have to help come up with the evaluation criteria of course you've got to be tech savvy know how to use like google suite things like that and understand the customer experience so really be customer focused pay for this position is where this job shines startup companies tend to pay more and this company pays anywhere from seventy six thousand five hundred dollars a year up to a hundred and three thousand $500 a year, of course, that's based on location and experience. And they are accepting applications at least through May 23rd of 2024. Right now it is early morning where I am on the Eastern time zone, May 22nd. So if you're interested in this position, get your application in sooner rather than later. If you are a musically gifted, you know how to play like pianos, keyboards, you play a musical instrument. This next one is a fun one that might just be for you. The company is a Ubisoft, but if you have music as a hobby, they have 5,200 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.7 out of 5 stars. Now this is going to be a six month contract position, but it is a keyboard transcriptionist for Rocksmith. 
but they are looking for somebody to help establish and grow the future of an innovative music game. So they're looking for somebody who has great communication skills and who has great organizational skills, who has experience in piano education, transcription, and performance. So if you know how to play piano, organs, things like that, and you know how to transcribe the piano notes, they're looking for somebody to produce accurate note for note transcriptions of these keyboard instruments, again, piano, organ, or synth. They are looking for somebody to make notes on chords, rhythms, and pedal markings. You're gonna review medical transcriptions and thoughtfulness, making sure that everything is there, so you've gotta have great attention to detail. Check audio mixes, piano tones, work with the QA to ensure any reported bugs or issues are reported and fixed. So you're reviewing the chord chart arrangements for piano and for existing songs, making sure that you pay great attention to detail, just checking it and making sure it is accurate. They are looking for somebody, of course, who has advanced understanding of piano or keyboards and multiple music genres. Somebody who has a broad range of listening skills, a high attention to detail, and somebody who has just basically a comprehensive overall understanding of music theory. My first thought was um, this would be a great position for somebody who has been like a music teacher in schools or things like that. Pay for this position is anywhere from $30 an hour up to $33 an hour, and it is a full-time 40-hour work week, but again, it is a temporary position that's only expected to last six months. And last but not least, I have a non-phone customer support position for you. The company is Aura Devices, Aurora, I think it is Aura Devices. Now on the, they do have a Glassdoor page, which I was surprised to see, I guess, because they are posting their jobs that they're hiring for on Glassdoor. They don't have any reviews from people who have worked from them in the past on Glassdoor. So when I say do your own research, go to Google and just Google the company name and see what comes up and then Google like our devices reviews and then you can Google different phrases about the company just to see what comes up. So when we Google this company, Aura Devices, with nothing else, no reviews, no is it a scam, nothing like that. Now, the first thing that comes up is their actual website where they are selling these fitness devices. They are trying to compete with the Apple Watch. They are saying they are selling these wearable fitness devices. But if you keep scrolling, then we have a, another website called The Verge that is actually doing their own reviews on the devices. And then next up we have, this is where it made me think, okay, this is a very legit company. We have Reddit and people on the Apple Watch Fitness Reddit community actually ordering and receiving these devices from this company. And this is a frustrated customer's review, whether or not they like the wearable device in regards to the Apple Watch or whether they like the Apple Watch better. No matter what their opinion on the actual device is, you have people proven that they have ordered from this company and received the device. So in the sense, we can say this is a legit company that has a legit product that they sell. So when you're looking just is a company a scam or is a company a legit company to work for, these are kind of the things that I look for and again, if you just Google the company name and you don't come up with much, you can do a Aurora Devices review. You can do just like review and then scam behind it. Um, and then the first thing that the Google AI gives you is have said that these devices are not a scam, but they're very bad products. Regardless of that, this is a legit company and these are kind of some of the things you can do to make sure that you are submitting your application to a legit company. Other things to keep in mind are check like um, the Better Business Bureau to see if they have complaints or ratings on there. You can even check with some of your like attorney general's office. All these uh, different government agencies have websites that you can check to see if companies have business license and things like that. But regardless, Aurora Devices is hiring a customer support agent. This is remote for the United States. They don't have any state restrictions. They are looking for somebody to manage large volumes of customer inquiries through Zendesk or similar CRM systems. So the reason that this makes me think this is going 
going to be a non-phone customer service job is Zendesk is a ticketing system. So most of these places, I, I think tickets are going to come from this website. But part of the requirements for the job is they're looking for somebody who's experienced interacting with tickets, live website chat, and message on social media platforms like Discord. They never mention phone in any of their job titles, which makes me think this is going to be a non-phone job that's more dealing with the website chat the tickets the social media messages but you will assist customers with pre-purchase inquiries resolving any purchase processing or order issues that they have just providing them support also after the purchase for how to work the device tech support anything like that you'll just be providing these customers accurate information regarding logistics shopping concerns technical concerns over the aura devices just delivering a quick effective solution basic customer service other than previous customer service experience working with like ticketing systems they want you to have the ability to work in the central standard time zone so if you're outside of that time zone you have to convert your hours to see if that works for you they want somebody who has basic knowledge of shopify or shipping platforms how basically ordering and shipping works someone who has great communication skills and can multitask now sadly they did not list pay for this position that i don't need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview all right if you've made it through this video through all of my rambling i owe you a huge thank you thank you thank you so so much for watching and supporting me as always feel free to leave in the comments anything that you're looking for i read those and keep that in mind don't forget if you enjoyed anything that i share give this video a thumbs up like button share with all your friends and family and of course i'll be back really really soon with more work from home job leads just for you